State lawmakers could approve the redrawn congressional maps for Texas. The conference committee reports were filed last night. Those paved the way for the House and the Senate to sign off tonight to send the map to the governor. Tomorrow is the final day of this special session. Otherwise, this work must be completed in a fourth special session. A longtime U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett announced today that he plans to run for the newly created congressional district slated for Austin, a district drafted in the maps that still need final approval. KXAN's Daniel Marine is live in central Austin with some of what the Democratic congressman had to say today. Yeah, Congressman Doggett actually got a little bit emotional during his announcement today, which he made here at Bryker Woods Elementary School, a school that he attended as a child. It's also where he launched his first congressional campaign in 1994. Doggett has been kind of shuffled around in terms of districts over the years as state lawmakers redrew the congressional boundaries. The seat he anticipates running for in 2022 would be District 37, one of two new congressional districts created in Texas following the 2020 20 census. This district, as we've shown you, pretty much encompasses the city of Austin west of I-35. Doggett's current district stretches into San Antonio and includes Kyle and San Marcos. He thanked those voters today as he looks ahead. Well, I've given my all to representing them. I have always in my heart wanted to be back representing a united Austin. And District 37 will be a largely Democratic district. District 37 largely Democratic, in part designed by the Republicans to be that way because they're looking to focus their intentions to strengthening up Republican presence around the city in areas like Williamson County, where President Joe Biden narrowly defeated former President Trump back in 2020. Reporting live in central Austin, Daniel Marine, KXAN News. Lloyd Doggett has represented Central Texas in Congress for more than 25 years, and as Daniel mentioned, his district has changed significantly in that period of time. He was first elected in 1994 to represent District 10. Back then, the district was made up mostly of Travis County residents. The boundaries changed slightly for the 2002 election, but the district still remained entirely in Travis County. But that changed after 2003 when new redistricting maps put Lloyd Doggett in District 25. You can see it there in green on the map stretching from southeast Travis County all the way down south to the Mexican border. A court ruling in 2006 changed the boundaries to cover several counties east of Austin. A new round of redistricting in 2012 led Doggett to move into District 35. It's the orange district on this map stretching from East Austin south along the interstate into San Antonio. That's the district he currently represents in Congress. The latest map set for potential approval has some major changes made since the first draft was met with opposition. Probably the biggest is in Harris County. Democratic Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee's District 18 shifted more into Representative Al Green's current District 9. Much of that has been changed, so they are entirely separate districts once again. Congressman John Carter still represents much of Williamson County, but the county now has representation from the districts currently held by Congressman Michael McCall, Pete Sessions, and the brand new District 37. We do have more in-depth coverage on these maps, including past legal challenges to previous redistricting efforts. You can check it out under the Texas Politics section of KXAN.com.